In phonetics, a nasal, also called nasal occlusive, nasal stop in contrast with a nasal fricative, or nasal continuant, is an occlusive consonant produced with a lowered velum, allowing air to escape freely through the nose. Examples of nasals in English are N and M, in words such as nose and mouth. Nasal occlusives are nearly universal in human languages. There are also other kinds of nasal consonants in some languages. Definition. Nearly all nasal consonants are nasal occlusives, in which air escapes through the nose but not through the mouth, as it is blocked by the lips or tongue. The oral cavity still acts as a resonance chamber for the sound. Rarely, non-occlusive consonants may be nasalized. Most nasals are voiced, and in fact, the nasal sounds N and M are among the most common sounds cross-linguistically. Voiceless nasals occur in a few languages such as Burmese, Welsh, Icelandic and Guarani. In terms of acoustics, nasals are sonorants, which means that they do not significantly restrict the escape of air. However, nasals are also obstruents in their articulation because the flow of air through the mouth is blocked. This duality, a sonorant airflow through the nose along with an obstruction in the mouth, means that nasal occlusives behave both like sonorants and like obstruents. For example, nasals tend to pattern with other sonorants such as R and L, but in many languages, they may develop from or into stops. Acoustically, nasals have bands of energy at around 200 and 2000 Hz. 1. Carrot The symbol N is commonly used to represent the dental nasal as well, rather than N, as it is rarely distinguished from the alveolar nasal. Examples of languages containing nasal occlusives. The voiced retroflex nasal is N is a common sound in languages of India. The voiced palatal nasal N is a common sound in European languages, such as Spanish N, French and Italian GN, Catalan and Hungarian NY, Czech and Slovak N, Polish N, Occitan and Portuguese NH, Serbo-Croatian NJ, and modern Greek New Iota. Many Germanic languages, including German, Dutch, English and Swedish, as well as varieties of Chinese such as Mandarin and Cantonese, have M, N and N. Tamil has a six-fold distinction between M, N, 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 N and N. Catalan, Occitan, Spanish and Italian have M, N, N as phonemes and M and N as allophones. Nevertheless, in several American dialects of Spanish there is no palatal nasal but only a palatalized nasal N, as in English Canyon. In Brazilian Portuguese and Angolan Portuguese N, written NH, is typically pronounced as a nasal palatal approximant, a nasal glide. Semi-vowels in Portuguese often nasalize before and always after nasal vowels, resulting in and W. What would be code and nasal occlusives in other West Iberian languages is only slightly pronounced before dental consonants. Outside this environment the nasality is spread over the vowel or become a nasal diphthong. The term nasal occlusive is generally abbreviated to nasal. However, there are also nasalized fricatives, nasalized flaps, nasal glides, and nasal vowels, as in French, Portuguese, and Polish. In the IPA, nasal vowels and nasalized consonants are indicated by placing a tilde over the vowel or consonant in question. French sang, s, Portuguese bomb, bow, voiceless nasals. A few languages have phonemic voiceless nasal occlusives. Among them are Icelandic, Faroese, Burmese, Jalapa Mazatec, Kildin Sami, Welsh, and Central Alaskan Yupik. I of New Caledonia has an unusually large number of them, with Pamita MNNNN, along with a number of voiceless approximants. Other kinds of nasal consonant. 
Laidford and Madison distinguished purely nasal consonants, the nasal occlusive such as MNNG in which the airflow is purely nasal, from partial nasal consonants such as prenasalized stops and pre-stopped nasals, which are nasal for only part of their duration, as well as from nasalized consonants, which have simultaneous oral and nasal airflow. In some languages, such as Portuguese, a nasal consonant may have occlusive and non-occlusive allophones. In general, therefore, a nasal consonant may be a nasal occlusive, such as English M, N, N, a nasal approximant, as in Brazilian Portuguese N, H, a nasal flap, such as the nasal retroflex lateral flap in Pashto, pre-nasalized stops, pre-stopped nasals and post-stopped nasals. A nasal click, such as Zulu NQ, NX, NC, other nasalized consonants, such as nasalized fricatives, languages without nasals. A few languages, perhaps 2%, contain no phonemically distinctive nasals. This led Ferguson to assume that all languages have at least one primary nasal occlusive. However, there are exceptions. Lack of phonemic nasals. When a language is claimed to lack nasals altogether, as with several Niger-Congo languages or the Piraha language of the Amazon, nasal and non-nasal or pre-nasalized consonants usually alternate allophonically, and it is a theoretical claim on the part of the individual linguist that the nasal is not the basic form of the consonant. In the case of some Niger-Congo languages, for example, nasals occur before only nasal vowels. Since nasal vowels are phonemic, it simplifies the picture somewhat to assume that nasalization in occlusives is allophonic. There is then a second step in claiming that nasal vowels nasalize oral occlusives, rather than oral vowels denasalizing nasal occlusives, that is, whether ma, m bar are phonemically, m bar, m bar, without full nasals, or ma, ma, without prenasalized stops. Postulating underlying oral or prenasalized stops rather than true nasals helps to explain the apparent instability of nasal correspondences throughout Niger Congo compared with, for example, Indo European. This analysis comes at the expense, in some languages, of postulating either a single nasal consonant that can only be syllabic or a larger set of nasal vowels than oral vowels, both typologically odd situations. The way such a situation could develop is illustrated by a Jukanoid language Wukari. Wukari allows oral vowels in syllables like bar, m bar and nasal vowels in bar, ma, suggesting that nasals become pre-nasalized stops before oral vowels. Historically, however, asterisk m b became asterisk asterisk m m before nasal vowels, and then reduced to asterisk m, leaving the current asymmetric distribution. In older speakers of the Tlingite language, l and n are allophones. Tlingite is usually described as having an unusual, perhaps unique lack of l, despite having six lateral obstruents, the older generation could be argued to have l, but at the expense of having no, nasals, lack of phonetic nasals. Several of languages surrounding Puget Sound, such as Quiluta, Lushootseed, and Maka, are truly without any nasalization whatsoever. In consonants or vowels, except in special speech registers such as baby talk or the archaic speech of mythological figures, this is an aerial feature, only a few hundred years old, where nasals became voiced stops after colonial contact. For example, Snow Homish is currently pronounced to Hobbish but was transcribed with nasals in the first English language records. The only other places in the world where this is known to occur is in New Guinea, in the central dialect of the Rotokas language of Bougainville Island. Nasals are only used when imitating foreign accents. The FOAU language of West Aryan is similar. The unconditioned loss of nasals, as in Puget Sound, is unusual. However, currently in Korean, word initial per meter and n are shifting to b and d. This started out in non-standard dialects and was restricted to the beginning of prosodic units. 
but has expanded to many speakers of the standard language to the beginnings of common words even within prosodic units. Bibliography. Lafage, Peter, Madison, Ian. The Sounds of the World's Languages. Oxford, Blackwell. ISBN 0 631 19814 8. Ferguson, Assumptions About Nezels, in Greenberg Universals of Language, pp. 50 to 60. Sout, La, Languages Sans Consonas Nasalas, and Alderel Universite de Abidjan, H. 6, 1, 179 to 205. Williamson, K. Niger Congo Overview, in Bendor Samuel and Hartel, The Niger Congo Languages, 3 to 45.